Hey guys, what is up? I am Double Driven. It's Monday. It's Ladder Leverage Day. And uh, we haven't had Mr. Goreflow on in a minute. How are we doing today, sir? Hey, Devil Driven. I'm doing well, thanks. How about yourself? Doing good, man. Doing good. Um, so you've been starting up uh, some new stuff with uh, Mr. Saber and Chez and everybody, um, the council. Um, good stuff going on there, so make sure you guys check that out. Um, now, this is your uh, your own creation for the or your version of Keltulus that you like to run, right? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Did you play it today on stream at all? No, today we were playing Northern Realms Witchers. Ah, yes, the the, the good old two O machine. <laughs> uh huh. Um, uh, this one uh, almost had. Well, we had one two O with it, right? And then the other one. Uh, we'll we'll put that in as a bonus one, and you guys can see if maybe we can uh, we could have played it differently, but. Um, um, really cool list, uh, Kelly. Um, I, I feel like it, it, it's, it's dirty, but it doesn't need to be changed. What do you think? It's I just, I think a, it's an exquisite work of art. Yeah. It, it's like belongs in a museum somewhere. Yeah. It just, it really makes you, when you see Carapace, you automatically almost think Keltulus and you got to have the answer. You, it, it, it's it's so hard because you're like, well, do I take out the Kelly? Do I take out the Siri? You know, is it better if they get card advantage or you know? I think it depends on the deck and if you're less units than them, you know what I mean. Then you might be able to hang, but if you're, you know, one guy, one guy, one guy, you know, it's like they're gonna start falling off the board from Kelly. So mm -hmm. it's it's tough to play against. Um, it's tough to play too because you gotta, you know, get some. Uh, you got to be talented and draw your Nero, um, which sometimes I am not. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, what are some other things like tricks? Like you always want to try to play the Siri on turn two after you get this defender down on blue. Yeah, so with pretty much any Siri dash deck, um, you need to play Siri within your first two cards of round one in order to kind of lock the opponent into a situation where they're going to lose card advantage potentially. Yeah. So uh, with this deck, optimally, you would try to go Cave Troll into Siri Dash in round one. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it works out pretty well. Um, and you got a little bit of, you know, chip damage with Nithral and uh, your Phantom. Sometimes, too, the Phantom can come in clutch, and you'll see that in one of the games. Um, and also, yeah. too, just the Heat Wave being the all-answer for the um, scenarios that pop up or, you know, aren't ahead if they're on ahead friend. or You know, it's just a nice answer. Mm -hmm. Um but a uh, couple games here. I'll put a bonus game up later on in the week uh, where we had a tie. Um, see if you guys can maybe see if we maybe could have did something different. Um, Mr. Goreflow, thank you so much for uh, recording, sir. We appreciate you. Uh, make sure you check him out at twitch.tv slash Goreflow, correct? Yep, that's right. Yep. And I'll have the link to his Twitch, the council, and the council Discord. Make sure you check out the council Discord as well. Um, you know, you got a lot more... Uh, interaction there with uh, Goreflow and Chez and uh, Saber and everybody else so you know if you have questions for them you know head over that way and then like always you know just make sure you check out to the uh, team of uh, dot com. Uh, lots of good stuff there with the budget guide and uh, not sure how much the meta will change I guess it depends on how the patch you know sums up here very shortly but um, we'll have you covered there as well so Here's a couple games, guys. Thank you so much for everybody for just just being awesome, man. I, I appreciate all the comments and stuff. It uh, it uh, it feels really good, man, because there's been a couple days here where it's it's been rough. So thank you for all the love, and once again, thank you, Goreflow, for recording. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Awesome, man. All right, a couple games. We'll see you at the end. But chill. Uh oh, congregate. So this is. Their worst These enemy right here. Would otherwise incinerate themselves. Mm. We're on the good coin. That's good. Not a whole lot of uh, stuff here, though. No Nero. Right. Oof. Mm. Packed, though. I would agree with that, yeah. We got the troll. But no Nero, so no Siri for the card advantage. Mm -hmm. So uh, the odds on this are that it will happen 
approximately one in every four games, you won't have access to Siri in round one. But that's okay. It happens. Against this deck, though, it could be uh, pretty fatal because um, of the amount of points it puts up. Mm hmm. We're gonna have to try to map out our round one strategy here um, because we have to find a way to make this A-Rush work. And... So he's ready to go yeah. off the bat, huh? Holy yeah, this is pretty, is pretty aggressive are. from him. So we just take the selection? Should be boosted by... Never mind. I confiscate these Hold up. Uh, wait, what happened there? Because doesn't Ulrich boost the units he puts down if it's devotion but yeah. it did it boost because he he tactical advantaged it right so uh it was it's a uh, crystal skull oh well i think i thought it was tactical advantage because it was a four and it went up to five or it went to nine so and it starts with veil so it has the veil anyway that card normally has veil so i think he's non-devotion which means our squirrel could find an Oniromancy, which is quite nice. So we go... Let's say, like, Egern first, right? Just get as much armor as possible on it. He might, have to, he might heat wave it. I think we might have to A-rush the Egern, so... We might want to, like, not play any more cards on the Egern's row. I'm not quite sure. If he heat waves, heat waves that though, he doesn't have an answer. Oh shit. Is he gonna spend a leader charge? I don't think so. So we for sure select him now. Heck yeah, definitely. And what's really nice is um we're probably going to get the Oh, never mind. I thought we had Wrath in hand. We don't. Mm -mm. Never mind. It would have been no, a really nice wrath. It doesn't look very good. We have no consume for the foglet. Furko's going to I think our goal here should be to just sort of play as deep as we can um, and thin. Probably try not to spend the defender since it's not actually protecting anything in this round. Like, when I say anything, it's not protecting any engines or Siri. Yeah. So we just play the A rush. Or do we kill this now? Mm, we need I don't this really for, like, think. Some of the other engines. Yeah, Ulrich isn't really a high priority target, I don't think. He's just an intimidate, like it's not huge, but I would still I would oh, still try to thin the riders, uh, huh? Probably now, just because um That's it's like good. probably our last chance if he has tall removal <laughs> next turn. Yeah. Because like what could happen is you could like A rush the Egern and then maybe he's like, ah, oh, alright, I'll take this this uh, I don't know, Igni or Heat Wave or something, and then we don't have dominance. Yeah, he for sure has I think you're right. I think it's Heat Wave. Mm -hmm. Well, if he's... So, let's see. This deck is really strong as a Devotion deck, but he cut the Devotion to fit something. What would be worth it for him? I think Heat Wave and Oniromancy, probably. Yeah. So, we just go A-Rush on this oh. now, since he did it for uh -huh. us. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's actually very nice. Uh, now we don't have to risk a rushing an already 13 point unit. <laughs> yeah, that's possibly carryover on our Oz roll. Uh, uh -huh. This is an exciting game. I'm, yeah. I'm really into this right now. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's the the swarm versus the swarm killer. Yeah, I found that like usually these swarm decks are actually better against Keltalis because they have so many little low tokens that even though Keltalis is like killing constantly, he ends up killing like a two point unit per turn, right? So it's like a two point per turn engine, which is it's okay, but Keltalis can do so much more than two points per turn. Right. Now this might be an okay defender now. Because he he basically wasted that card. Um, if we defender here, he he just practically threw away a card. Yeah, that that can kill beast, right? 
That card could kill Beast, yeah, if he has two Salamandra. And uh, normally no, in this matchup, it's just matchup, a payday, I... right? Gain an extra coin for each. Oh, I oh excessive something. damage. No, I got you. No, it's a different one. That one yeah. only does five, so it doesn't kill Beast. Uh, unless, oh, okay. he's, thought... unless he gets his horse and set up. I thought that was an assault uh, for some reason. No, they've been running this payday card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, one thing with this deck, though, if, if he's... What? What? Wow, wow, wow. Passing on even. So we have an answer for one of his horse and clan. There's the end. Oh, you, that's good. That's good. You think he's running horse and senior? Oh, for sure. They always do. Um, so do we keep the squirrel now, or do we drop the pack? I do. I do, I do think squirrel could be very good. So Honestly, this hand is very good, uh, especially if we were going to Nero for Caltalis. I just want to see what is still in deck. What are we missing? Beast, Siri. Nithral, it can oh, be missing, huge. Missing quite a bit. I guess we do kind of want to get rid of the pact, probably. Oof. And yeah. No. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's not the best. So no. we go Foglet first, or we go Phantom first, or do we? All right. So I, I think we should bleed here. For sure. Um, yeah, their long round can be really ridiculous. He probably has an answer for Keltalis. Yeah, I think the Phantom first makes sense. It doesn't like what I would pay day, which is cool. Yeah, and what I would normally do here is like pretty much bleed with everything except for Osril. Keep Osril for a short round three, and I would want to use Keltalis as part of that bleed, expecting that he has an answer for it. And I'm not going to rely on Keltalis for my decisive round strategy because of that. So do we keep? the parasite or do we just play the foglet or i think this is a setup for a payday mm -hmm. and uh acknowledging that we may want to actually use the order on the phantom to remove his intimidate unit and then like I, like you said we could just develop um like a foglet or something preferably uh next to the phantom so we can consume two units at the same time the andrega which will support our caltellus yeah, because he's got to start swarming here now. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is really good. Oh, we've got him now. He just... Oh, he can't by play using Horson because his... he... Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. By using his leader here, he's pretty much used one of his strongest assets in a short round. So if we preserve our leader and take him to, like, a 4v4 card final round... He does have Jacques. We win. You got to watch out for Jacques because that's a spender, too. So we just take it all and let him just... We're happy to just go into the round on even? Um, I, I would I would think so. And I would... E Honestly, I would even drop the Keltalus now. Uh, probably, like, not between those two units, but next to them. Because it's going to kill a token immediately. And um, then the Andrega next turn should also support it, right? Yeah. Do we put any... Boost I, on it I, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I like the only reason to use Five, a leader charge here. Six, seven, so it can kill it if he gets two lucky pings. Ah, let's give him that chance. I say. All right. I would, yeah, I would hold everything. Or flow the gambler. Because <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta think, like, yeah, I figured this was gonna happen. You gotta think, like, in a short round, we have such an advantage over him with Osril and full leader now. Do we want both of them or just the one? Now we just well, want now the that, one. I exactly, yeah. Now that the Keltalus is out of the picture, one is perfectly fine. This is a weird deck. Like, it's not even... He's not um, even, like, swarming. It's almost like it's just... Control... It's... Congregate. Yeah, it's not it's not actually Congregate Swarm. This is Gord Crimes now, I think. So uh, the Heat Wave actually should be extremely powerful in round three as well. I think we should play Parasite, Squirrel, and then we go to a five-card round. 
Heat Wave for his Gord, and Osril for our own point value. That makes sense as to why it's not Devotion as well. So what do we squirrel? I I don't think there is. Uh, like, no matter what, if he. I can't th think of. Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything like. <laughs> Nothing cheeky here, huh? Uh, no, there really isn't. Banish Whatever your least favorite card is, you can banish it. We'll get rid of Furco. Oh my gosh, this Trist is really good too. for us. I will not let so he was smart. Mm, uh -uh. I actually don't think so. I think he's just, I think he's just running that card as like a four P crime that he could put in his deck. And yeah, because we haven't seen like so we're out. many fire sworn. Uh, yeah, I think so. So we still have last say on the scoreboard, right? We've got last say heat wave on his scoreboard. We've got Osril. We've got uh, nine points in our leader. Um, what about poisons? Should we fear the po well? I guess this goes down. Well, he can. No, he can't poison it twice, right? He he doesn't have that salamander card, right? Because there's no way to support it, right? I don't think so. So we got a lot of better cards here. So we get rid of Emlareth would be dope. Or uh, Nithral get them mixed up sometimes. Ooh, uh, selection could be good, especially if we go Nero for like Nithral first. And we leader charge it? Like, what's he gonna do against that? He can't really. He's yeah. We like, so we keep. We this? could go. Or do we keep yeah, it? I think so. Yeah, I, I kind of think so. So he goes in Nero. What does he grab? Portal. Justice, really? Yeah, I think that a lot of them run justice because it can pull one of the intimidate. He this though, right? No. Oh yeah, he gets this one. Yeah, back okay. up. Mm -hmm. So we kill that, or do we get the Nithral down? Well, we get the Nithral down. But we're gonna have to use the first charge of Nithral to kill that, as as opposed to just killing it now. So I think that selectioning it right now is a, equivalent to playing Nithral first, except it, it plays a unit list, which might have some added value. Right. And now that we have to delay Nithral, he might not even be the right choice anymore. Like, um, I don't know what would be, to be honest. There's Jacques. I think he's got us, dude. No. The beast I don't think. The blood of innocence. I, I believe. Mm -hmm. I believe in our strategy. So, which one <laughs> do we go with? Beast or... I would say... Uh, I would say... Uh, let's see. Well, let me think. They're both two points per turn. What would we choose instead of Nithral this game? Nithral is like a nine-point card if we go Beast first. There really isn't. Uh, I don't really think there's going to be a better card than Nithral first with a leader charge to protect him. So that's where we're going. I, I think so, yeah. Yeah, he's still got a payday. I think one more payday. It plays under Geralt range, if he's a Geralt friend. Yep, there was the payday. Mm -hmm. So now we drop the beast. And do we use another ping on it? I definitely think we do use another leader charge to support Nithral here. And what do we hit? Just Jacques? Probably just Jacques, right? Yeah, because he's the only unarmored, unshielded unit. Maybe I should have played this melee. It lives again. So we still mm -hmm. have dominance, so we just hit this? Uh, yeah, yeah we do. Mm -hmm. And just drop the Osril, huh? I, I think so, because I, I can't imagine what his last card is if not Gord. Has to be, right? It definitely has to be, yeah. We could probably even use our last boost on Nithral. 
Like, uh, I don't really see a downside to that. 18 Igni's not enough. <laughs> right. Yeah, we'll score it. Oh, you're not gonna heat wave yourself? No. Oh, man. I've been you I've been getting BM'd <laughs> like crazy, so I'm gonna mercy. <laughs> good game, good game. Good game, good game. Alright. <laughs> tell you the truth, I haven't heard from her in like months. Like I I think uh she's like taking a break from the game or like you know people like retired and then unretired and then retired and then unretired, so I don't know. Yeah. So we're dropping a rider. We're on the bat. Is this the bad coin for us? Or is it a good coin because we can get the Siri out, right? Um, let's see. Um, and the selection. This is fine. I mean, blue coin's fine. Uh, what is, uh, yeah, I would say selection next. And then probably packed and hope that we get a foglet. I would hold out for the foglet. Okay. No such luck, sir. Huh. So do we start with the rider? Well. Basically. They do run heat wave this deck, right? Yeah, they should. So our goal on blue coin is to get our Siri down by the second turn. Preferably behind a defender. We don't have a defender here. So, in this case, I would probably just get Siri down and uh, Crystal Skull her. Uh, yeah, they don't, shouldn't have any answer to that besides Heat Waves. So. But then the Kelly goes through. So we're going Siri. Yeah, I would say go Siri and then use the stratagem to protect her. Specific row or it don't matter? Doesn't matter. Yeah. I've noticed too, Skellige's been running Onslaught. That's the old brand ability, right? Mm, some of them, yeah. I think uh, Brand was discard, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Brand was discard. Um, who was Onslaught. the ping I thought Onslaught was, was Onslaught Harold or. No, Harold was something else. <laughs> Playing wet too long problems. Um, Crack on crate? Yeah, that's it. Croc. Yeah. Yeah, because Beardy used to play that with Scorch like crazy. Um, so we're going Rider? Uh, or do well, we try to take that out? I mean, this could be a pretty decent Parasite. The only problem is Parasite's our only way to protect Siri if he, say, does like some sort of incremental damage, like two stunning blows or something. Um, but I kind of feel like we should try to take it out before playing any units. I would say, um, let's see, this should be fish flappers, right? But it's not. Uh, maybe just parasite it. We can always use a leader charge if we have to. Right. Yeah, that's one thing nice about this leader ability. It, uh, it's, a li it's kind of versatile. He had both mm -hmm. boats. Well, I mean, you could Wrath here. I, I have no idea what we're playing against. It's some sort of battle trance list that runs on crate long ships. So it's trans using boats. A, <laughs> using our deductive reasoning. What can we say? Like it's shenanigans. It, That's what it is. It's, get, it's <laughs> Getty. We know it's Getty, right? Right. Probably runs a raiding fleet. Probably has uh, the pingy boats. Well, I was thinking the, the armored boats, the Drakars, right? Because that oh, works really well yeah. with Battle Chance. And like, uh, Druid, the, the the priests, the Druid priests. Uh, Just I don't know, like, um, if I would maybe, I would maybe Wrath that. Like, I don't know, it's a pretty decent Wrath. Yeah. Don't you agree? Yeah, you could smoke them. I, I like smoking boats. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I, I this was like last uh, patch, or last season, I did finally get one of the uh, Colgrim on the boat. Uh, it was it was pretty satisfying. Colgrim on the boat? Playing one of those raiders on crate longships. 
And when they play Colgram, it just dies because it's only one oh. trick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my sad. gosh. It was That's so funny. Pretty satisfying. Uh, so we're going to get our card. So where do we go with it? Uh, so, yeah, like the best thing to do right now would be to thin the riders because um, it's right before this make the Siri pull. So, like, now we won't brick the riders off the Siri pull, right? Yeah. If we do it right now. Yeah, this is this is actually turning out pretty well for us. Yeah, he's going kind of slow. Um, ooh, all right, that's a good pull. We did draw really terribly though. Like, look at our hand. It's um, four four peas. That's really bad. Yeah. Yeah. No Nithral. No Beast. No Yeghern. So Turtle. So he's gonna renew that, right? Uh. Yeah. They. They might. They sometimes run renew. Is this um, where we get out? I uh. He no, goes down no. To, he goes down to five cards. We go down to seven. Well, if we get out here, oh, that's what true. happens? He basically just can't bleed us, right? But he's we don't like get card advantage or anything. Right. If we keep the pressure on, we can probably get card advantage pretty easily. So just play a warrior. Uh. Yeah, maybe maybe a warrior to like. Yeah, it's not great, but we don't really have any other plays. <laughs> We're kind of in sad spot here. Huh? Yeah, and then I mean, like if he gets like a a priest going on that that turtle, then we could probably heat wave the turtle and get rid of it. But like, I don't like doing the heat wave immediately because like you and know Getty I don't know what's going through, on here. Yeah. yeah, like yeah, and Getty as well. Yeah. So he does have the other boat. Um, yeah, and the Jakar. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, this is th this mystery is, uh... Gwent theater, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so I see a play here. Um, I want to know what you think about it, though. We basically say, all right, we're just not going to thin our foglets this game, but we're going to play this in Draga for nine points. So right here. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah, because, like, he has to pass us now or he goes down a card, right? So he needs right. nine. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. So do we heat wave it? I mean, it's pretty tempting. <laughs> now it's pretty tempting. Yeah, I mean, what does he do uh... if he... If we do it, I, I mean, I kind of, I kind of would. So like what would happen, right? We win on even and then we could go into like a long round with defender and Keltalis, right? And then like he, I mean, I guess he we could, could potentially, we could play it greedy and just ping the, ping the thing and use a leader charge, but then that might bite us in the ass later. Yeah. I, I would probably just heat wave the turtle here. I think he hasn't even shown us any druids yet like yeah he needs I don't know. 13 points here i mean that's not gonna be easy i mean you know he's sitting on yeah there it is so we just what do you think even. yeah what do you think the odds are that he does actually doesn't run getting f because we've not seen a single druid i think he's just a talented lad and he's just not showing his hand yet okay there's no way you run this leader without getty there's just no way it's just made for it so we're just getting uh, rid of the foglet i see yeah if we're just gonna mulligan him away like um we can't really bring him out anymore <laughs> get him out of here just keep playing there we go um so do we start out with the yeghern or do we start out with the fan well let's think about it yeghern comes out first it would have six armor as opposed to five stunning blow and decoction both answer five and six armor so it shouldn't make a difference if we go second um and also the uh the engine uh whose name right now for some reason is escaping me the apiary and phantom yeah. could bait out the stunning blow slash decoction we're worried about allowing the yeagern to go through which is quite nice with such a low level of armor so we just drop the boy 
Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm thinking. That that's probably good, right? And oh, then we yeah. go Yeager, and then maybe maybe we're done. Like just get the uh, get the scenario out of him and pass, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because it's a lot of points, man. One thing about Getty when it goes through, it's like, especially if they line up. Their, wow, we just got the mix match of the century. Here. <laughs> he had the skull too, or the skirm. I think the opponent lost this game in the deck builder. Yeah. Um, do we banish one of the messengers now? Well, uh, I just was... I, I don't think that's a bad play by any means, but I was just concerned about getting the Yeagern in before we get into gutting slash range, which would ha happen in one more turn. So we drop him now. Do we play around Igni? Probably. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mean, we've already seen enough shenanigans. Uh, is he... Well, we don't know yet if he's non-devotion. Rock slide. Oh. Okay, that's definitely interesting. So he's definitely a heat wave friend. If he's got rock slide. It's hard to tell. This this guy is uh he's unpredictable, right? <laughs> Wait a minute. Could it? Could it be Shoop? Have we seen duplicates yet? Uh, the messages. Oh, we have. Yeah. yeah oh, it can't be Shoop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We. That's right. The two ships. Uh, to, you know, personally, I feel that um, you could probably like take this pass, right? Uh, uh, because we have sort of a vulnerable Yeagern, and we don't know if he has more removal for it. I'm sure he so does. We, we, yeah, we get our card advantage, right? And now we'll, we'll basically be able to play. Oh, he had both. Yeah, he did. Yeah. We'll be able to play um, Kaltalus behind the defender and then just sort of sit back and win. chill. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what How we do you really answer do both? Here... All right. So he's got Heat Wave. He's going to have a Grimmist and a Heat Wave. That's the idea. But um, what we really want to do here is play as few units as possible. So we drop the squirrel. Yeah. Like I dropped the squirrel. I would keep all of our like specials. All right. Defender's good. Um, what do we have left? Uh, I'd probably, I'd probably keep this hand just because the Foglets are still in there. Like, and all of our units are really good. Right. We could also discard them too. Oh. Like, He's one of them friends. We'll show you mm -hmm. how blood spelling's done. So we get Cave Troll down, melee. Yep. Do we put you anything on it? Uh, can he apply any bleed to it? I don't think he can. He used fleet. Yeah, I, I don't think we really need to. So what should happen here is he should go Gettyneth next. And we would go Keltalus. And then the whole idea is his Gettyneth spawning all those little crows is supposed to make our Keltalus bad, right? Because those little crows, like... They absorb the punches from Keltalus to protect the other cards. But uh, Nithral is going to help us out here by killing the little units and allowing Keltalus to get bigger ones. So we just drop yeah. them? Do we boost them at all or no? I wouldn't. Uh, there's really nothing you can do to it except for a Curse of Corruption, which boosting would just make his Curse of Corruption more valuable if he has one. So do we go for a 50-50 or do we boost up the Cave Troll? No. Uh, you know, uh, gosh, you know, I'm not, I guess, like, this yeah, goes why up not? To a 10, right? Yeah, might as well put it up to a 10, sure. Like, like I said, this guy is very unpredictable, so he could add I anything. When right? I see Becker's rock slide, I just think I like, I like damage. He's got Giga Scorpion. So he's getting a Witcher. What Witcher? Arnahad or whatever. Heart of God. That's what he drew. But nothing's damaged, so it's not that... Oh, he's going to use the leader on it. So do we just play Osril now? I think that the best play right now would be to develop one of our two engines. So that they get the most value possible. And I would prefer the Nithral, because like I said, uh, if he spawns like... 
tube or yeah, like two point tokens, those could potentially lower the value on our Kalthalis, but Nithral does a great job of cleaning up the the kind of trash tokens on the board so that Kaltalis gets the big yeah. juicy stuff, right? That's what he went with. So he just plays a big you wanna see a real sword? <laughs> Is that enough uh, for him though? So he just keeps bo boosting that? So we keep, this is great for him if we play units. Um, we keep hitting uh, hang, the covenant, or uh, I wouldn't hit the covenant just because it's like gonna. We're not Armor. gonna get through the covenant, right? Like we, what do we have off Oniromancy? Like we don't even have any damage off Oniro except for a selection. Like I don't think, I don't. Basically, I think that we're not gonna get through. So, uh, I, I, <laughs> this is interesting, huh? We um, could play the Osril and it just dies, right? Yeah, we could. Should we yeah. just do that now? Sure. Yeah. Before he buffs it I again, would... you know? Yeah, let's do that. And then just sh shoot like the four point card with the um, Nithral because we're going to kill our own Osril here, but that's fine. Our Osril's a one point card. We're so going to kill it, which is fine. He's going to renew it now, but he wasted his his juice on it. Mm -hmm. Ale of the Ancestors. <laughs> Wild card. Yep. So we don't do any damage, right? Because we lose stuff oh, here. Uh, I mean, we could spores, like, right? Oh, this? We could have spores, yeah, like old like i mean it's the three point spores it it's not optimal by any means but uh, you got to look at like the whole scene here we're, we're up <laughs> so much we have card advantage we have two leader charges he has two cards left in hand like i think if we spores this he's basically can't play any units now so can we just hit it just for the heck of it uh might as well yeah yeah might as well I really thought he'd be a heat wave friend. Well, if you run heat wave, how can you run ale of the ancestors? <laughs> this is true. <laughs> There's no room for heat wave in this deck. Oh boy! Oh, he got that that bonus. Um. So nothing. We could just foglet and get the bonus foglet, but then that gives us another unit, and nothing dies. So what would Foglets do here? Foglet would... It would, he would hit it, it would hit it for four, and then we would get the Foglet, but there would be the same amount of units on the board. Yeah. Uh, I would probably just use the selection on the Defender here. Like, uh, the Beast obviously is not going to be super great this game. Oh, it dies though, this one, huh? So we kill the Defender. Oh yeah, that's that true. Hmm. God him. <laughs> nice. nice little outplay there. Yeah. He, if he plays a unit, we just pass and win. Do we? Just BM, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Good game. Good game. I think he didn't take the. The series seriously <laughs> no um this is such a great blue coin duck <laughs> oh yeah for sure uh mr gorflow thank you for recording sir um once again you know make sure you guys check out the council discord and the council youtube channel and mr gorflow streams what days monday thursday and sunday eastern time East, uh, yeah, uh, Monday, Thursday, and Sunday. Uh, weekdays, Mondays and Thursdays are at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard. And Sundays at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That early cup of coffee in, in Gwent. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes. Awesome, man. We appreciate you, sir. Always fun when you come on. Um, also, to make you make sure you guys check out Team Uh Lots of good stuff coming there. Budget Guide by Wasubi and Hippopotamus. And, uh, 
you know, some other stuff once the uh, patch drops here in a week. So make sure you check that out. And congrats to Mr. Max Wolman becoming a partner on TLG2. We love Mr. Max, man. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.